some crazy news this morning. Ford dropped a 1,400 horsepower Cobra Jet Mustang on the world. Um, it's blowing up Facebook. It's blowing up the web. This thing is all electric, so it's totally different, not relying on gas. It's going to be quiet. 1,100 plus pound-feet of torque at the hit. So the minute you crack the throttle, you've got all the power this thing basically develops. Um, from what I understand, it's going to have turbo 400 transmission, three speed, but it's a prototype. So who the heck knows where this is going to go? Chevy, they ran their uh, Ecopo Camaro last year. They went nine, I think mid nines with it, which is amazing. Of course, we got to get back to the track and get back to racing before we can even see this thing or see any racing for that matter. But I wanted to show you guys a little clip that Ford uh, sent over. <laughs> wanted your opinion. What do you guys think of an electric drag car? I mean, Don Garlitz has been in pursuit of, I think, a six second run and a 200 mile an hour run with a dragster he built all electric. GM, Chevy has the Ecopo. So smartly, what Ford did on this project was they used an existing chassis. They took basically a Cobra Jet chassis built by Watson Racing. Watson builds the Cobra Jets from stem to stern. They know the cars very well. Um, and then they worked with MLE race cars, they worked with AEM on the electronics, and a company called Cascadia provided the inverter and the electric motor. So get everybody together, team up, make the thing fit, make it work, probably not an easy project, a lot of engineering going on there, and then take it to the track. Um, the video clip that we just saw shows, you know, some of probably the preliminary runs. I don't know the full potential of the car yet, but we are excited about a project like this. You know, it's always controversial when you bring on new technology, especially when it goes head to head with something that people really love, internal combustion. I mean, we love the sound of compression. It makes us happy. Let's face it. You make horsepower. Horsepower makes us happy. And this, you know, this has benefits and it also has negatives. I don't know what the longevity of an electric motor is on something like this. What's the downtime after you make a run? Can you hot lap? What's the fall off? Is the car going to be a dog on the next run unless you give it a full charge? There's so many questions on something like this that have to be answered. Um, and I think the, scra the surface has been scratched with people out there racing Teslas. And certainly, you know, racing an electric car isn't 100% new, but it's new to the mainstream. It's something I think we're going to see more and more of. People will love it. People will hate it. I don't think electric is going to completely take over anytime soon. I think you may see an electric car in people's garages, but there's always going to be a gas burning car next to it. I just don't know how you're going to get around the, the range anxiety and the fact that you can only go X amount of miles before you got to stop for minutes or hours to recharge your vehicle. Some people just can't deal with that. Personally, I really don't want to deal with it. Um, and it's not even that everybody goes on super long trips. I think it's more the thought that you don't want to get stuck somewhere um, that, that creates anxiety for people. And I know, you know, it's probably one of the reasons that I currently don't own an electric vehicle, but that's something that could change in the future. Anyway, let's keep it going. Keep safe out there. Um, stay healthy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're going to see some wild stuff with this thing and uh, let us know what you think.